Here we are with the sternum, also aptly known as the breastbone. This is the one that you would do CPR with. As long as you're not here, that would be bad. That point will pierce things that you don't want to pierce. But this is essentially the front of the body. And this is where all the ribs would attach, or via coastal cartilage and the clavicle as well. And so let's take a look at the portions that we have. There's essentially just three portions. The top part, which looks like a shield, is what we call the manubrium. The body, which is the long paddle-like shape. And then this little tip, which we call the xiphoid process. Uh, spelled with an X. And so what you'll find is just a couple markings, not too outlandish, with is the top one, what we call the jugular notch. This little guy right here is this little indentation, that's the jugular notch. And then the other one that is actually pretty apparent is this joint right here, which is called the sternal angle. It happens at rib number two. If I were to show you this, you would actually feel it on your own body. Uh, mine comes apart because they kind of confuse, these bones confuse at any age um, when you're young and this is a younger skeleton and so what you'll find is they fall apart if you take away all the soft tissue. But if I do this and just hold them together, you'll notice there's a little bump here. This bump right here is would be considered the sternal angle because of course the manubrium goes this way and then the body goes down like this creating an angle here called the sternal angle. So those are the things, let's just review. Manubrium, body, or also known as the gladiolus, xiphoid process with the jugular notch and the sternal angle.